main line that, that goes past Quad Bouquet, but they felt that they should also have electricity, so they dug down in and wired into it directly, and then send uh, current out into the community, uh, free of cost to the community as they're uh, taking the electricity as opposed to paying for it. And so in the time that I've been here, I was here when the electricity first came back on, and, and, and you could hear all the children uh, singing and clapping, and it was, it was a celebration, but it was very short-lived because less than five minutes later, the electricity went back out again. Okay. So then maybe a week or so went by, and then yesterday we had electricity for a few hours. Uh, which was, again, very exciting, but then the uh, electricity has failed again. And they send electricity out on homemade electrical lines that at home you would think is maybe a speaker wire. Oh, wow. But here they're able to get enough current through it to uh, power lights to uh, uh, some members, some small parts of this little itty-bitty community, like down one, one little road has a little bit of electricity Sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so now you mentioned that there are uh, chickens and pigs and cattle and other animals uh, wandering around freely. Now, is that a food supply if need be? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, the Haitians grow, traditionally will raise pigs or, 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 or one or, or two pigs. It's kind of, no pun intended, like a piggy bank where they will raise this pig all year long on scraps and whatnot, and then sell the meat once a year that allows them to buy things that they wouldn't be able to get otherwise, like uh, you know, clothing or tools or something for their house. Um, but yes, they eat lamb, uh, uh, pig, goats, uh, and occasionally the cow, and then they, of course, eat chickens, and, uh, you know, any eggs that can be produced from, from the chickens. And they're all free range. And are they... You know, you could be in the middle of the street and see a pig, a cow, a chicken, uh, and a donkey uh, just, just, just doing their business. They, they, they roam freely. And I'm, I'm not quite sure how they all get back home, but they seem to have some sort of a system. And sometimes some of the pigs are tagged. So you can you can tell them apart, but it's it's definitely uh, uh, a food source to the Haitians. And a significant source where um, you know are we are we looking at people starving? Are we uh, is it that dire? I mean, is there enough uh, livestock, enough rice, enough beans uh, to prevent starvation? No, um, there's extremely people here, where uh, for a lot of Americans, I, I don't know if they could fully, really grasp what it means to absolutely have nothing and have really no hope of getting anything, where rice is very expensive here, it's like uh, $50 for a 100-pound bag, and here at the orphanage, a 100-pound bag lasts uh, three days tops. To, to feed 60 kids, and then beans are equally expensive, but you, you use uh, less of them percentage-wise in, the, in a dish, and, and they're very expensive. And the, and the people who grow animals is mostly for themselves, and a lot of them are uh, some of the skinniest-looking chickens and, and uh, goats that, that I've ever seen. And, and I've seen, I mean, there, there are people starving in this community. There, there are people with absolutely... Uh, no food, uh, no access to clean water uh, or medicine, or medical care, and 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 no real uh, hope for it coming. So I I've seen people that are just emaciated with their ribs sticking out, uh, of, of very very poor and very hungry. 
Okay, when when you say that a 100-pound bag of uh, beans or a 100-pound bag of uh, rice uh, costs $50, who who is that paid to? Well, from what I can tell, most of that is actually imported. Uh, and, I, and I'm not fully familiar with the politics behind that, but it, it seems as though some of the powers that, that be have uh, stripped Haiti of its ability to produce its own food. For example, rice is imported from America through heavily government subsidized programs that allow them to, to sell rice here cheaper than the Haitians can produce it. And most of the Haitian agriculture has been put out of business because they, they can't compete with, with these heavy, heavy government subsidies that, that America likes to, to put into it. So Haiti, Haiti, once upon a time, was an exporter of rice. And it's an extremely fertile country with a lot of uh, water under the ground and would be able to produce a lot of its own food. Uh, but the, the, the people have to... Uh, truly learn to grow their, their own food and, and not become dependent upon these really expensive uh, American products. Okay. Uh, uh, well, tell me a little bit about the, uh, the, the orphanage, uh, how you see it functioning, uh, what you see uh, as its prospect going forward, um, and maybe how people could help. This was a um, this this was a, uh, a Dominican hospital. This was a Vermont uh, operation. What what was yeah. it? Hatred. 
I've, I've never really seen this level of 